Adam Moose here, welcome back to another video of Moving Weight Fishing. And today I am gonna show you guys how to catch live baits just like that and how you pen them up and keep them alive for years. I mean, you could keep these baits for as long as you need, all right? So so first, let's just, let's just dive right into the video. All right, so here's the setup we got going right now. We got my well to 100 gallon live on the front of the boat. And we haven't put any baits in there yet. We're filling up the back one first and we're sitting on spot lock with the trolling motor right on top of the bait rock. Cause that's where those pilchards like to sit. And CJ is currently on a tear of his life. Oh, tear, boys. He's smoking me right now. No surprise. What the pilchards? They just S. You got, you got it real slow. Very let S out here. Very, you gotta let them collect. Jay? Very Jay? Yes. Yo! Oh. We will take those. Here is the baits we are fishing, or not fishing. Here's the baits we're penning up. Giant pilchards. Pilchards, but the reason we're catching pilchards to pen up, usually guys, usually you see us, CJ, Mark, I'm so rank. Usually you guys see us catch sardines or cigars. Those are the best baits in the world, don't at me. But pilchards pen up so well, they're such a hardy, strong bait that they're gonna last the longest. So. My recommendation to you guys, if you guys want to pen up bait for, we're, we're probably keeping these baits for maybe two, three months. We, we could, you can keep them as long as you want, but we're going to end up using them in, in the fall. And that's just, it's just the hardiest bait. I, I'd say pilchard cigars and goggle eyes, even though why would you ever pen up a goggle eye? <laughs> you smoked them. No. Nah, you got a runner. I had pilchards. Yeah, I know. I saw. You still have pilchards. It's just going to be a tough sight scene. Light. You, you got to play light. You really do out here in the settlements cut. It's really. awful. It really hurts the soul. It really we're, does. We're, really we're Yo, you smoked it. them on bottom. Dealing with it. We are dealing with it. Jay oh. is on the tear of his life. So, we're filling up this well. This is a 40 gallon. This is a 40 gallon well. My well up front's 100 gallons. It can hold 800 pounds of water. This can hold probably, I don't know, I'd say 200 pounds of water, right? 40 gallons. 40 gallons? Four Four, 400? Something like yeah. that. Those are the beautiful pilchards. We're probably going to do, I don't know, I'd say 250 in this back well. And then if they're still biting, we're going to get, I mean, they always bite their pilchards. We're going to get like maybe 500 in here, 400, something like that. We want to fill up my giant pen. It's got, it's like 11 feet, 12 feet. Be able to fit a thousand baits in there. We're, we don't need that many, but be able to fit them. So I'm going to mount the GoPro up and show you guys just on, we're on a tear. I'm going to show you guys how we do it. Where'd my hooker go? So I'm sure you guys have seen this before. This is called a D hooker. We usually don't D hook our baits because we usually fish them that day. So it doesn't really have much effect on the baits. But since we're penning them up, we're gonna D hook them. And I'm gonna show you guys a secret that you've probably never seen on any video. And I'm telling you, you'll be able to keep baits alive for, for years. It's just, you have to treat and handle your baits the right way. Let me show you how, okay? Pilchards, you honestly don't have to de-hook them. They're such hardy baits, but we're gonna do it anyways. CJ just lost the de-hooker, so he's gonna send it. Oh, never mind. Me? Yo! Pitching it to the front of the boat. Oh, they are chewing. They are sitting right in front of the truck. I don't know why. I'm smoking. You gotta get that hunch. You gotta give it that little give. So I'm taking my D hooker just like this, boys. 
boom, right into the well. It's a lot easier with a single strip or a single speak. You were doing double rigs, so you want to catch as many as possible, but hook. Right into the well. Nice, Jay. Jay's on a silent tear. Per usual. Per per usual. Very per usual. Getting comments about how Jay doesn't talk. Jay Jay talks a lot, just if you had to fish with Adam every day, you'd know wrong. Yeah. Maybe I'm too much to handle it. You really are. I can't call it. When we're bait fishing, me and Jay just getting our silent hair. Dude! Runners. No! Holy cigar! <gasps> Dude! That is, a big that is the biggest cigar I've ever seen in my entire life. CJ Kayser. I, I thought that was a runner. You should Dude, be trying to gotta measure that thing. That is the biggest cigar I've ever seen. Holy crap. crap. Dude, you gotta get a snap of this. Oh. CJ, that's not healthy. That's really not. Dude, there's something wrong with this cigar. Here, let me see him. Have you guys, no! Caught him. Look at how, look at how big this Rocky Minnow is. He's pregnant. Dude, CJ. That thing is so big! They are chewing right now, boys. We're just doing the same thing, pitching in the front of the boat, slowly reeling it with that little bit of slack in your line, let them collect on your rod, or on your shabiki, I mean, and just smoke them. So I'll show you guys the shabiki we're using in a minute. They're uh, tying two shabikis on at once. It, it literally doesn't matter for pilchers. You could pitch any shabiki in the world. They'll, they'll eat any. So, so we're just using, they are number eight green bead sabikis, non-fluoro because it doesn't matter. And I like to fish number eights because it is a little bit bigger hook. And if you catch a runner or something, it's not gonna bend as easy and the pilchers will stay on the hook better. At least you think so. I smoked them, okay? Ask me how. All right, I'm gonna put the camera away. We're gonna fill up both walls and they'll see you guys when we're done. Good, bro. You move off it? I don't see the rock. You could see the rock? I don't. Yeah, I could the whole time. It was right under you. I don't know. It doesn't look like it. But... Getting them, boys. I needed that, Jay. I really redeemed you there. Yeah, you did. All right, guys, we just ran in the inlet here and the baits, everything's going according to the plan. The bait's still rolling. The bait pump is still rolling. And I'm gonna do a little explaining on my pump over here. I've got to hook up the battery. To show you guys all the, all the foam it makes. Cause it doesn't recirculate water, it's recirculate. I mean, it recirculates the water and we pump fresh water in there. Five well full of pil pildreds, and we got the back one full. So we probably got 400, 500 baits. We wanted a little bit more, but it started to blow, and we're in a 19 foot Key West. It started to get really windy and couldn't stay on top of the bait anymore, the trolling motor, and it was getting sketched, so we just came in. Lights out. We're gonna count all the bait when we put them in the pen, and this is the best part of the video. I'm gonna show you guys how to put them in the pen. I've seen a little bit. We just made it to Jupiter, and as you can tell, the wind is picking up. And 
I don't know if I mentioned early in the video, but the reason we were doing this is because we're about to get a hurricane. The wind's gonna be 60, 70 miles an hour. It's August, so usually the bait leaves late August anyways, and especially with this blow, they're gonna be gone 100%. We wanted to load up on bait. For the fall, we got dolphin fish, really good dolphin fish. I mean, we're gonna have live bait and we're gonna be able to crush them for you guys, so. Plenty of other things, snook fishing, mountain fishing after, after it blows like this, but you guys are, I know a couple people sit up in my DMs. I just posted an Insta story about what we're doing and everyone wants to see the setup we got for my well. So I built this well, CJ helped me build it. CJ and his dad helped me build this well. It's a hundred gallon, it's a hundred gallon live well and 1600 gallon uh, rural pump. And all it does is recirculate the water. It doesn't It doesn't pump fresh water in because it doesn't have that ability, you know what I mean? I, I, it's like a truck well. I put it in my truck, transport bay with it. Just hooked up to a little battery here, and this thing pumps. Let me tell you, look at it. I got it on that angle just like that, so it, it makes that circular motion. As you can tell, look at, you see how the way the water's moving? Just like that. I mean, there's a lot of foam in there, but look how stoked our baits are. They are not, they are not dying, boys. You guys love CJ as well, and I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, we're putting in a video coming up. Look how, he made his word pressurized, just look at that. They are the nicest, most stoked base of your entire lifetime. So, we are getting close to the pen, and then I'm gonna show you how to pen them up and how to take care of them and how to properly put them in the pen so you don't kill your baits. All right, we just made it to my pen up in Hope Sound and we are now going to pen the baits up. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. CJ's just taking all the foam out of the front well here. Very raggedy, yes, foam. So there's multiple ways. With sardines, we like to put them in the bucket and then I'll show you, I'll just demonstrate it for you guys how you put them in nice, but we're so up close and tight to the pen that and their pilchers are super hardy, so we can just net them and, and drop them in nice and lightly. But let me show you. We're gonna we're gonna count all of them too. So that's four. What? They fled. They literally look at them. How stoked they are! Oh my god. Eight. C CJ. They are as stoked as could be. Big scoop. I'm trying. <laughs> uh, 12, oh. 13, 14, 15, 16. That was a big scoop. That was a big scoop, yeah. Hold on. 20. That was five, no? 21. Yeah, 21. Okay. And then I'm going to show you guys how we do it with the bucket, just, just to demonstrate for the boys here. Jay? Let's get a demonstration. Here, put them in the bucket. So you only want to grab about two at a time when you're doing the bucket. You could do a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter. Put them in the bucket, and then just so they don't lose their scales, like sardines and more fragile baits, instead of dumping them in and losing all their scales, you put them in the you put them in like this and you let them swim out. See how they swim out? You gotta give them some time. So I like to stay in there sometimes, but these baits are super, super healthy and stoked. We're gonna go ahead and finish up penning them up, and then I will show you guys when we have all them in the well. One more here. 442 baits. CJ, tell me it looks like we have no bait. It's like there's a hunter. It literally looks like the hunter in there. 442 pilchards and a couple uh, cigars and gogs, but here's Petite Croker that CJ cut. He's gonna get lights out, smoke. Dude, he looks like my Bear Majuda. It's not even a croaker, what is that? What do you mean it's not a croaker? CJ, that's not a croaker. What is that? <laughs> Skosh? Put him in the box. Skosh V2? Put him, put him in there. He's gonna get smoked by a snow. I'm smoking it. <laughs> uh, 442. Oh, they don't like them in there. Look at them all going around them. Damn it. It's not good. 442 baits. Wow. And a croaker. I will. And a croaker. 
and a couple. Bad. We don't know what it is. We don't know what the heck that thing is, but I'll see you guys back at the house. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you guys like. I hope you guys like that bait footage, and I hope it was a little informational. If I wasn't too informational, make sure you drop a comment below. Ask me questions. Like I said, DMs are open. Guys, go ahead, follow me on Instagram. Instagram will be popping up right here. I'm always free. I answer. I answer on YouTube for sure. I love to, but Instagram's easy for me because I don't get as many messages. So I can really like thoroughly read all of them, you know what I mean? And, and give you guys a, a good answer. So any questions on how to catch bait, where to catch bait, blah, blah, blah. Just, just DM me. Um, I hope you guys learned a little little something from this video. And I hope you guys liked a little, a little bait catching because I love bait fishing, man. Like I said, probably said a million times in the video. I could do it all day, every day. Channel's doing great. Let's keep it up, boys. I want to keep that weight. We need to keep moving weight, G. We need to keep moving because if you guys want the sickest hats on the market, they are coming in hot, red hot. Let me tell you, they are going to be so sick, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. <sighs> Love you guys. Till next time. Move weights out, baby.